What's up guys? Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today we're doing a big modification. We're going to be getting rid of those three inch spacers and we're going to be replacing them with some Rubicon Express three and a half inch coil springs. So don't go anywhere. This video is going to be really good. So stay tuned. So before we go ahead and do the switch to the solid coils, I want to measure and see how high, I'm, I'll measure up to this top one, but see how high I'm sitting now, and see how big of a difference we get from the coils. So we're at 24 and a quarter. Let's see if we're just gonna get a half inch, or it's gonna be more than a half inch, cause it's not gonna be the worn out springs no more. All right, so let me open these up and show you what we're rolling with. So these are the rear ones. They looking pretty fresh. And let me show you. And we're gonna go ahead and do the front one first. Disconnect my quick disconnect sway bars. Jack it up and start popping them out. Alright guys, so I got it all jacked up and supported pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and remove that coil spring. Alright guys, so I started off this video that I was making, putting in this 3.5 inch lift, um, recording. I was going to record the install process, but I ran into a lot of technical difficulties along the way. And just from working on it, my um, hands were dirty and didn't want to keep touching the camera. But not only that, it's I was just go, 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 trying to get it done. Because it started getting dark. It took me like six hours to do, maybe a little longer. But thankfully, I had some help. Also including my buddy Jake. Um, please give his Instagram a follow for me for um, all the help he's done. I'll leave that right up on the screen. And I will also leave his subscribe button at the end of this video to go check out his channel. So thanks again, Jake. Really appreciate your help. And we were able to get this lift kit in. And is definitely higher than those spacers and worn out springs. It looks better. I can fit some bigger tires once I do my motor so I have the power. And I'm going to measure that front bumper after I give you the work, uh, walk around. And show you how much higher this lift has made it. So don't go anywhere. Let's hop out and let me show you what we got in store. Check it out guys. Look at this 3.5 inch lift. It looks so much better, such a, a better stance. It is definitely up much higher than it was. Check that out. I think it looks incredible. I really like how much better that looks and the added height it gave me. Let me tell you what I did. I had to compress the old springs, take them out, pop out the spacers, and then I had the Rough Country Quick Disconnect Control Arm, so I adjusted them to the height for the new 3.5 inch lift. I'm running Rubicon Express 3.5 inch springs and Supreme, Supreme Suspension shocks. Um, the shocks are pretty good. I'm going to upgrade the Fox once I get done with my motor swap, and it will be definitely all set, but it rides so much better now. Much better control, and I don't feel the bumps and the swaying as much as I did with those old springs and coil spacers but they did the job um, for the time being but it's definitely so much better now so I'm gonna go ahead and measure if my dog doesn't block the camera where we're at on the bumper not that so keep in mind, before we had a 3 inch spacer lift, um, it did give us 3 inches of, of a factory height, but not the kind of height we wanted, uh, I wanted, and not as strong as the solid uh, 
coil springs. So we're, we're on just under 27 and a half inches. So that is a big improvement over the 24 and a quarter we had with those spacers. So happy with how this turned out. Alrighty guys, so at the end of this video I'm also going to attach some pictures that I took of uh, the before and after of the lift to show you how much of a difference it made. Also if you want to check out some of the pictures, um, check out my Instagram. I'm going to leave my name right up on the screen for y'all. And so let me just do a quick little overview of why I got these uh, Rubicon Express. The reason why I went with Rubicon Express is because they were actually... A really good deal. I got them on sale from $199 to $74.99 for the front pair and then the back pair. So for $150, bucks, I got a front and back pair. I'll link them in the description below because that was a great deal. I'm not sure how much long they're going to be on sale for, but if you want to pick them up, there's the link. Um, future upgrades, because of the lift, I want to get um, adjustable control arms, and I also want to get the SYE kit. I'm currently having some vibrations. So the SYE kit will help that. I'm just waiting until I change the rear after the motor swap um, because I'm going to need a longer drive shaft with the... Uh, probably going to go with either Ford 8.8 .8 or a Dana 44. Um, so I don't want to invest in the SYE kit and drive shaft just to have to get a new drive shaft for the uh, new rear. So it will hold up for now. Not too worried about it because the rear is being changed anyway, so the damage or the faster wear ain't gonna really matter. But I'm sorry, guys, that I couldn't uh, film the install because we also only have 15 minutes until I get some more subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, and I can do better part install videos because we will have longer than 15 minutes of time frame in our videos. So if you like this video and you are happy with the overall results please give me a thumbs up please subscribe and drop me a comment also quick little vote drop me a comment is if for my overland rig here should i go with 33s and then or go to 35s drop a comment below if you think i should go to 33 first see how i'm liking it see how it's uh working for what i need and then go to 35s let me know about that as well but thank you all for watching till next time i will see you in the next video